Hi, I'm Scott Eastman. This is Mike Slinkard and Max Maupin. We're with Human Energy Concealment Systems. We wanted to take just a few minutes to talk to you a little bit about some of the upcoming video footage you're going to see on this DVD. What we set out to perform here is experiments with an Arabian cat shark showing just how effective our energy cloak fabric is in blocking the electrical signal known to elicit a bite response in sharks. Max Maupin has a degree in animal science from Oregon State University and he's our resident expert in this field. Max was tasked with setting up the experiments and documenting them. I'm going to let Max talk to you a little bit about some of the equipment he used and just how he performed those experiments. Well, the purpose of our experiments here is we're showing the blocking effectiveness of the energy cloak fabric. Now how we're doing that is we're creating an electrical field. The electrical field is created by the dipoles inside the probe. We have a dipole on each side. What is allowing the current to travel from one dipole to the other is a salt water bridge. This only functions when it's in the water. That, that current traveling from one dipole to the other, anytime a current moves, it gives off an electric field. The electric field is detectable by our shark. It basically is an effective way to mimic a prey animal, be it a mammal or a fish. Max made mention of the HEX energy cloak fabric. Our fabric is comprised of 21% conductive carbon fiber and 79% polyester. The carbon fiber is over twice as conductive as the seawater around it. Also you'll see the specific grid pattern that's woven into the fabric. This is to block the energy signal from coming through it. In the second part of our experiment, we wanted to observe our shark in a non-feeding situation. We set up a box with two identical probes running the same electrical current. One probe was covered with hex and another without. What we observed and wanted to observe was not only the amount of time he spent on the covered versus uncovered probe, but also the aggression he displayed and the difference between the two. We appreciate your time and hope you enjoy the upcoming footage.
power on. Power on. Power on. Well, this is going to be uh, our first time trying this, but kind of a crazy scenario here. We're actually going to try to hand feed our cat shark wearing a hex glove first and then taking off the glove.